blood is just different from because you, you, we know where they're at. We know where the mindset is. But I'm so grateful today that God blessed us and blessed us to be with our with, with mostly all the family down here on this end. I think that was almost all of us. But I'm so grateful for God because we came all the way from Sac and God blessed us all and we just had an awesome time and I thank God for Elder Reed and for Elder Ginevra how they went to the shelter on um, they didn't tell me to say that on Thanksgiving morning and fed the homeless. So they didn't sit down and eat before they saw that somebody else had food on the day. It's a blessing that when you when you pick up a fork, you know you help somebody else. And you've done what the, what the Lord has instructed us to do. And the Bible, he told us to feed him. He, he did say that. So we're so grateful today. I'm glad to be saved and to be sanctified and filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to your prayers and pray for me that I'll never be what God would have me. Amen. the Lord for being today. I thank God for Jesus. I thank you, God, because he saved me. I thank God because he's good to me. Yes, sir. We praise the Lord for all of your testimonies. Are there any more testimonies? We praise God for all of your testimonies. At this time, I will turn you into the hand of the announcement. Choose to buy my trade that's available at your personal request. Must win 
Wednesdays tonight, prayer Bible study. Thursday night, open section. Friday night, evangelistic worship. Home prayer daily. Most of our night service commences at 7.30 p.m. We wish to say welcome to each visitor of the reunion and do trust that you will be blessed at this service. This congregation, join our pastor in saying you are welcome at all times and hopefully you will find reason to come again and again. Your announcer, Sister Sadie, Bishop Nathan Bullock, Pastor. Amen. Yes, Right. Amen. And we have our offering pan to the right. Amen. 
And once again, Saints, we have our Titan fan to the left. Amen. We have our Rally fan in the middle. Amen. And we have our Harper fan to the right. right. Amen. 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 And before we get started, I'm going to acknowledge the old people on the table. Amen. We have an opportunity. that you bless this offering that we're about to receive. We ask that you bless every man, woman, child here today. We ask that you bless them exceeding, abundantly, 30, 60, 100 times as whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. We're going to work with the children. I've already spoken to someone who is going to be, do, be the coordinator. I don't have to coordinate it. Amen. Amen. But we have someone else do it. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for that. So they'll be speaking more on that next Sunday. I thought they were going to uh, speak on it today, but uh, if they are, if they are available to after the, uh, before the service over, I'll let them have words. But if not, we will hear from them next Sunday. Amen. 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 And so we're, I've already spoken to the children, and we're trying to get a date where they can come out and meet, and and we can rehearse. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So Sundays work for me, but there are other days of the week that can work as well because we need to make myself available for our young people. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. Matthew chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. Amen. 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 Let's read that. And when he was the guard against, he went into their synagogue. He went into whose synagogue? Their synagogue. Their synagogue. Uh -huh. And behold, there was a man which had his hand with him. Yes. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Uh huh. That they might accuse him. Yes. And, and he said unto them, Yes. What man shall be among you that shall have one sheep, and if they fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, Will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? Read. How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Then said he to the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was a short hold. Like as the other. Amen. If I may use for a subject today from that verse, uh, that 13th verse, and he said to he, the man, stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched forth, and it was restored whole like the other. If I may use for the subject, his word is what we need. All right. Then. His word is what we need. Is what we need. For the Bible said that heaven and earth will pass away, but his word was stand forever. It is evident that we know that Jesus is the Word. Jesus has all the words that we need. Anything that we need, we used to sing the song that said, all that I need is in Jesus. Yeah. He satisfies and joy he supplies. Yeah. Life would be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. Anything yeah. we need, we can find it in the Lord. He promised that he'll supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah. For we know that John 1 and 1 says that in the beginning was the Word. Uh -huh. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. Jesus is the Word. For we must remember that the Word that comes from God brings life. Yes. Jesus said that the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. He said, but I come, Mother Dasher, that you might have life. Yes. And have it more abundant. We have to have you today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. His word brings eternal life. For the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his what? Only begotten son. That whosoever what? Believing in him. Shall not perish, but what? Have have everlasting life. His word is everlasting. Word yeah. everlasting. See, not only does his word bring life, but it's also true. There are no lies or fables in God. For the Bible lets us know that God is a man that he shall not lie. Yeah. No, the son of man shall he repent. Yeah. If he said it, it shall come to pass. Yeah. Jesus makes you a promise, saints of God. Hold on to that word. Oh, God will oh, see you through. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus promised us that, Lord, I'm with you always. Always. Even until the end. Of the world. When you're in that troublous period of your life and you don't know how you're going to make it through, Jesus is there by your side. Yes. For the Bible says the Lord is not slacking concerning his promises that some men count slackers, but it is long suffering to us, word, not willing.
willing that any should perish, well, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. Hallelujah. His word is what we need. Yes. In our text, the Bible speaks of a series of events that took place on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath in the days of Jesus was to be remembered as a day of rest. How many of you remember that the Bible says on the seventh day, God rested? Amen. God himself rested from the creation. It was a day set aside to worship and praise God. If you read in Exodus chapter 16 and chapter 20, you'll find that the Bible gives them very specific instructions of things that they could not do on the Sabbath day. Couldn't work, 